Yo, what's going on guys? It is Midnight bringing you yet again another video. Now in today's video we're going to be talking about another few um, Christmas units that we've got in the game. Now these units are specifically at the moment on the uh, JP version. They are not on Global right now. They'll probably be released on Global next year when the next Christmas event comes out. Um, but we will kind of cover these units for the time being so that they got you guys who are playing JP, you know, you have a rough idea about these two units as well as when they come to global in the future if you're still playing by then. So without further ado, we'll jump straight in and we'll go talk about the first unit. Now the first unit that we have on JP um, that was released on the Christmas event this year round was Aura. Now Aura is a power enhancer unit with physical attack. Um, overall stats are pretty decent considering Aura is an enhancer, the HP and defense is a little bit on the lower side. However, Aura has got amazing speed and really good offense as well, considering it's an enhancer and not an attacker. So overall with the stats, I feel like they kind of balance out. Um, I would say a glass cannon, but I wouldn't really say a glass cannon as well. It's kind of like 50-50. Um, not the best glass cannon, but probably would meet those sort of... Uh, categories of units you know with lower defense and hp but quite fast and um, heavy hitting unit um, resistances are pretty good resistant to wind and earth how it takes extra to water and ice so not too bad good resistance percentages so not bad on that department now going to skill one what it is is you have a 4 mp aoe skill um, which deals physical damage to all enemies 69 percent and this is got no element however if this skill is used against enemies that are sealed so that's like the um, effect that doesn't allow them to use abilities the ones that mask iron steals and uh, I'm pretty sure like Neuronus not too many units do sealing but you know there's just a couple to name off the top of my head and like there's Mare as well like Nazarick Mare also does sealing um, if you have those units then yeah you can kind of combine it with this although you obviously first of all they need to be sealed you can't just use the skill and just hope for sealing like they have to be sealed off first and we're not too sure on the exact number of how much bonus damage it is but there's a small side effect there that not a lot of people know about overall not a bad skill it's 4 MP AOE there's nothing more to say um, the next skill is 5 MP and this one does 140% physical damage to one enemy and removes one positive um, buff or remove positive buffs so plural it will remove all the buffs that this unit will have so it is very situational um, you wouldn't be using this skill alone just for the damage of it because 5 MP for 140% physical damage um, turn is a bit too expensive like you have Narbral right now who's 3 MP that does 150% with elemental uh, effects and statuses however if you're on a fight and the boss is like got you know two free buffs on then you could easily use this skill to negate those and also you know give your chance a bit more survivability because they're probably not going to be doing as much damage to you or to kill the enemy quicker because they're not going to be as tanky because they've you know got defense buffs and stuff like that so not a bad skill very 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 situational definitely for harder game content however is it worth the 5 MP I would probably say no but overall it's just something unique to have on an ability um, not very good skill so far. Um, the third skill is actually quite unique as well. It is 3 MP. You deal 130% physical damage to one enemy. And you give um, yourself 100% critical uh, for two turns. So I am not too sure 100% if this is you have 100% chance to do 100 um, to land a correct. Um, or if it just increases your critical damage by 100%. I'm, I'm like 90% sure this is increasing your critical damage, uh, no, your critical chance um, for 100%, uh, which if it is, is pretty decent. It's not amazing, but we'll get into that. If it's increasing your damage by critical hits by 100%, again, very good, but you need to have other units to buff it. So not a bad skill. I mean, it's very cheap, free MP. Um, the buff itself, regardless of which one it is, is very good. I think critical rate would be a lot better. Um, and then the 130% physical damage is not a bad percentage of damage considering the pretty good buff you get in and the free MP usage. Um, 
So not a bad skill. You could use this uh, skill three times, um, or you could combine this skill with the AOE attack two times. And yeah, you're looking at a pretty good, you know, bit of damage there. And there is another thing that you can combine it with, which is the overdrive. So if you can time it properly, you know, use this skill, then when you have your overdrive next turn, use it, and all your your overdrive will be, you know, uh, critical. If not, do bonus damage. You got a 10% speed and 15% physical attack buff. Not bad, not too bad at all. Um, so yeah, overall, pretty reasonable passives. Not the best ones, but again, nothing too bad at all. Uh, overdrive, you deal eight hits of 15%, which I believe is a total of 80, 40, 120% damage to all enemies. So the fact that this is AOE is very strong um, with an inflict of minus 50% attack to all enemies and 56% chance to seal um, for each enemy um, for three turns. So overall, not a really bad overdrive. As I said, if you combine it with the, um, you know, the uh, free MP enhancer one, um, yeah you um, have all of these critical hit. So that 120% AOE is now a crit. Um, so can be very, very useful and very, very good in end game content, I would say personally, that's just me. Um, and then there's the image of the unit if you care about that. So overall, Aura is not a bad unit. I think on the JP tier list, um, Aura was actually placed at a B tier um, due to the fact that the skills, nothing really stands out besides 100 and crit weight. Um, which again is not too bad, but I can see why that it would probably be B tier. I could also see if it went up to an A tier as well, but I wouldn't really go any higher than that. Uh, mainly because you have to kind of set up, you have to, you know, um, make a team around this unit basically. So you know, with the fit, uh, the critical increase, you can use that with the AOE, or you can use it with the overdrive. You know, but you you're not really going to be spamming one skill over and over again. So overall, not a bad unit at all. Um, and yeah, we'll jump straight into the uh, next one. And we are back. Now, moving on to the next unit, we have um, Christmas Mare. Now, Christmas Mare um, is very similar to, well, not very similar, but is in terms of typing and obviously roll, um, is very similar to the previous Mare, which is Speed Healer. So exactly the same, but obviously completely different stats and abilities, which we'll get into right now. Now, in terms of stats for this unit, HP, defense are very very high um, for a healing unit in particular especially for Mare comparing it to the previous one um, attack is you know pretty decent but you're never ever going to be attacking with this unit unless you're basic attacking and then it has a pretty reasonable speed not the best speed you know it's kind of just below average being at 400 mark um, but overall for a healer the HP defense is very good um, attack would be very good but you know no attacking on this unit and speed is pretty reasonable, um, not too bad at all. Obviously putting something like an Eye of Sadis or Momongado on this unit would be great, um, just to get an increase on that speed and HP. So overall, not a bad unit um, so far. Damage taken, so resistances are very good, only takes increased damage by flame and it's only at a 25% rate. Um, obviously we'll take more damage from power units as well, but that's just standard. Um, but in terms of resistances from elements, not bad resistances at all. Um, the first skill we've got is a free MP enhanced skill. Um, so what you'll do is you'll give one ally 35% attack and 30% defense. Now on paper, this doesn't actually seem as amazing as you'd think um, because of two things. Uh, one, because it's an attack and a defense buff. It would be better if it was either fully for defensive or if it was fully for attack. So like, you know, attack and speed or defense and damage reduction, something along those lines. Right, um, and the other thing as well is people would probably think you know that's not too good for free MP, but then you got to look at it from the brighter picture. This is for five turns, not for three turns, which are most usually all the buffs. Um, so for five turns, that is actually very good skill. Um, however, obviously, I would personally, I think if it was attack and speed, or if it was defense and damage reduction, would be much better. I think personally, um, you know, so you can just put it on either your tank or your damage dealer um because you're not really going to use this on uh, your tank you more often than not going to use it on your attacker now um because it's an attack buff and your your tank's not really attacking and that extra defense does kind of help so overall not bad skill at all pretty good enhanced skill in my opinion very cheap very good um the next skill is a 2 mp healer skill and it basically gives one ally the effect of healing over time so regen um however this um ability does actually stack so you can 
I could be wrong here, but I'm pretty sure uh, you can put it on the unit like three times and each time you put it on the unit, you'll get a higher increase on your regen um, being 18, 24, 32%. Um, so yeah, overall, considering it's 2 MP, not very bad at all. And again, looking on the brighter side of things, it is 5 MP, uh, no, 2 MP for five turns, um, which is very good in my opinion, once again. Um, so overall, this healer is looking very good. Um, you you know you'd think well is there any more healing that we can have and to that answer we do have yes uh, the next one is a 5 mp aoe heal uh, which will heal the party for 4680 um, give a 25 percent attack and 31.25 percent critical rate for your whole party so at, on paper looking at that hill you'd think it's not very good but the fact that you get those two buffs on your team are really good for end of game content and yeah overall very good skill in my opinion if this was 4 mp uh, i think like this unit would be like pretty unstoppable uh 5 mp again not too bad um i think the buff really does save it 5 mp for 4680 hp is you know kind of meh but the buff added on to it is very good um so yeah not bad so far um passives you got physical magical defense plus 10 percent and speed plus 10 percent again very good passives for a healer or a tank unit because you want them to be as tanky as possible and as fast as possible so all three of these passives very good on mari um not really any improvements you can do here besides adding um, an increase on that percentage or having something like hp regen or an evasion um passive Lastly, we've got an overdrive which will heal the party for 17,550 HP, uh, which is pretty much a full heal no matter what unit you pick in the game. There is no relic and unit that you can put together to have more HP than 17k. So you're healing your whole party back to full health, which is very good. You also give your party 50% defense and also uh, two turns of 50% damage reduced. So very good for your tank. Um, you know, you just healed him back up to full HP and now he's even bulkier or she uh, than previously. So overall, very good kit. Um, very balanced as well, I think. Like very versatile healer. You can use it in very, like more ways than one. You can pop the HP regen on your tank and only really use, a, you know, the AOE heal when uh, your attackers and all of them f start falling behind on their health. Um, and there's the image of um, Mare. Now, on the tier list, I do believe Mare is placed up on that A tier, uh, which I can kind of understand. Um, I feel like this was done before testing. Um, I haven't actually experienced testing this unit out myself. But if looking at it on paper, I would probably say you could get away with an S, possibly even better than uh, Lup, uh, Re Re uh, Regina, Re Regina, I was gonna call her Regina. Um, you could probably improve her over Lup. It's very close, I think. It all kind of depends on how this HP regen works. Um, but for versatility, uh, whether you, I don't know really, they're very close, they're very close. Um, both very good healers. I would probably rank this healer up there. Um, but yeah, A, possibly S tier, maybe even SS tier, um, very, unique unit i think a lot of testing would need to be done before you can actually rank this unit in a in a very stable position so those are the two healers uh, not healers two christmas units that we've got on the jp version of the game obviously on my previous video i spoke about the um, global side of things and they are also obviously on the jp version as well and yeah that is everything so far before i wrap up this video i do want to say um on screen now you should see an image about sharing um, a post from the Facebook slash Twitter. Um, if we can get, I believe it is 5,000 shares, we do get 600 uh, Chaos Stones. Um, I think at the moment from last time I was checking it, they were at like four or 500 uh, shares. I know it's a very hard task to do, but for those of you that want any free Chaos Stones, um, obviously share this image here. I'll leave a link in the description and hopefully we can get a few more Chaos Stones for all of us um, on Global. So yeah, if you want to share that, you can. Also, if you would like to join the Discord, we are holding like an event at the minute for the new um, Undead mission, just to kind of keep things a little bit spicy, and a little bit fun, uh, all based on the scoring system. I won't go into too much detail, but there are people trying to do the Undead mission with very unique teams. I think some people have completed it with two two-star units. One person has already completed it with three two-star units. Um, so yeah, very unique. 
Um, and also, one more thing as well, if you want to have a little bit of um, test your IQ on the Mass for the Dead game and also the Discord, I have made a Kahoot with um, another co-leader of the Discord, um, Dai. We have made a Kahoot uh, just for a bit of fun. Uh, with loads of questions to do with Mass for the Dead, players from Mass for the Dead such as Unsinge, myself uh, and a few other people um, and then obviously a few questions about the Discord if you are in it. Um, so it's a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and peace out.